The Trump administration is currently celebrating a coronavirus relief bill that would send most Americans over $1,000 in cash, which is an idea that sounds necessary and strangely familiar. Andrew, what the f***? Yo, the Republicans stole your idea. Uh, oh, it's not my idea, and I'm thrilled that they're, they're doing it. But, dude, this is your idea. Literally, your one idea. You are running on this one thing, and they, they stole it. Well, uh, you know, they, they're not going to do it in perpetuity. That would be my idea. <laughs> they, they put it in place where we get it every month forever. Uh, then I would be up there, uh, hope, uh, just clapping and cheerleading because all of this stuff's very, very overdue. Remember when you first started and you were talking about UBI? A lot of people called you crazy. It's, it's a convoluted cockamamie idea. It's this move towards socialism. It's all going to stink. You're going to lose your job. You're not going to have anything. So we're going to give you a big handout. I mean, I don't know that that's going to be inspiring to a lot of Americans. Do you think Americans just needed to be pushed to the brink of death? an economic collapse to realize that, hey, maybe giving people $1,000 isn't a bad idea. On my campaign, I was talking about how more and more of us are going to get sent home because technology, artificial intelligence, robots are going to do more and more of our jobs. And now we've all been sent home. And we see that it's obvious that we have no way to help people survive this crisis, but to put money directly into our hands. Okay, but how much... Do you believe that this coronavirus is caused by AI? Is this the first step in the global domination? AI had nothing to do with the coronavirus. Just a coincidence. Just a coincidence that now we depend on computers more than ever. I'm talking to you on a computer. I'm also looking at porn on a computer at the same time. Because computers are great like that. You can multitask. Computers are definitely transforming our way of life in ways big and small. Um, but this virus is a, a totally different phenomenon. Sorry, Andrew, I didn't hear any of that. It was multitasking. So how do you stop this administration from f***ing this idea up? Well, we tell them just to keep it as simple as possible. Money in our hands regardless of who we are every month until the crisis is over. And then after the crisis is over, just keep going. Just say, you know what? Who knows? There could be another crisis around the corner. Do you think we should add an extra $500 for all Asians as a racial profiling rebate? You know, just each of us gets maybe venmo a few bucks every time a politician uses the term Chinese virus? I do not think so. I think we should treat everyone the same, Ronnie. Right, gotcha. Let's let's talk about it in the chat after this. <clears throat> uh, I guess the last thing I'm wondering is uh, when you look at what's happening out there, do you think it's too late? I wish we'd acted before, Ronnie, but it's not never too late to do the right thing. We just need to start doing the right thing for our people. What? No, I meant is it too late for you to get back in the race? To run for president as an independent? We need to defeat Donald Trump in the fall. I'm dedicated to doing that. Uh, and helping the Democrats win in the fall. Okay, got it. So we solve coronavirus first, and then vote for Andrew Yang as independent for president of the United States. Got it. No, that's not right. We take care of our people, we get money into our hands, and we get Donald Trump out of there in the fall. Whatever you say, President Yang. Thanks, Ronnie. Not at all what I said, but stay home. Oh, sorry, sorry, I can't hear you. I gotta close this window. While we've been going through this corona crisis in America, The Daily Show's Ronnie Chang has been stuck in Australia. There he is, Ronnie Chang. Hey, what's up, Trevor? Oh man, so good to see you, dude. What's going on? Uh, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm, I was actually visiting Australia when all this went down. Uh, I came here to pe pet a koala bear and uh, all this stuff started happening. So I'm stuck in a hotel room right now. And I spent like two thousand dollars on mini bar peanuts. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's you got to be careful down there, man. There's a lot of corona cases down there. Uh, yeah, it's increasing just like everywhere. But uh, don't worry, I've I've been tested. Wait, are you being like, are you being serious? You've been tested, tested. Yeah, I got tested for the corona. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I just had I to. Can't, I can't tell if you're being serious. Right? Did you really get tested? 
Yeah, I got tested. Yeah, I got. Oh, tested. okay. Like just just because you like because like you're on TV or just they they're just testing people. I I think that just I matched the symptoms because um I had a cough and I just came in from America and uh, wow. they give, they give me everything. They tested me. They gave me a Pap smear. They gave me a pregnancy test. Uh, <laughs> I I had the whole uh, everything. I did every exam I could in that place. Wow. Okay. Well, that sounds unnecessary. I don't know why you did the pregnancy test. Oh, but you, you'll be glad to know that I'm not pregnant, by the way. Well, I mean, that, that's obvious. You were never going to be pregnant. I'm also not whatever the pap smear test. I'm not that either. I, I don't think it's testing for a thing to be. I think yeah. that... Well, look. A, a, anyway, anyway, I'm just, I'm just I'm saying... I'm perfectly healthy. The point is I'm perfectly healthy. Yeah, and the point is it seems like it's really easy to get tested in Australia, much easier than it is in America. Yeah, it, well... It's like it's impossible to get a test out here. Yeah, I'm hearing stories. Again, I haven't been in America for like four weeks now, but uh, if it makes you feel any better, the corona test doesn't feel great, okay? You, they, they stick that swab way up your nose. It touches the back of your back of your nasal passage. It's, it's like an anal probe on your nose, man. It's, it's not good. Wait, so they just like stick the thing up your nose? Oh, and they then... stick it up and then they yeah. twist it like that. Like they're digging your nose for you? Yeah, but not... Feels like uh, it feels like someone's trying to scratch your brain. Damn, well that sucks. Well, I'm I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that you had to get the test. I'm also sorry that now you're stuck in a hotel, social distancing. That must like be double oh. the pain. No, no, I'm I'm fine, man. I love social distancing. I, I love this is my jam. I love this stuff. I get to watch TV all day. I can eat whatever I want. I wake up whenever I want. I don't have to wear pants. I'm not wearing pants right now. It's it's the best. Yeah, but what about all the people who love you? You don't get to see them. And those, those people are the worst, by the way. People who love you are the worst. They, hugging and kissing and rubbing is every, every form of, of affection is like corona bomb. No thanks. Wow. Okay. So if it was up to you, you'd just be interacting over like video calls and stuff. That, that would be your yes. life. Absolutely. In fact, I, when this thing is over, I hope this is the only way we interact. I mean, I don't have to smell your breath. You know, I, I don't have to... I don't have to like uh, be in contact with your bodily fluids. And if I get bored, I can just pretend I'm having problems with the Wi-Fi. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's one way to look at it. But then, like, what about like work and hanging out with your friends? You you always said you loved hanging having lunch with me every day. So I mean, yeah, that's, actually, that's sorry, Trevor. I'm sorry. The Wi-Fi in Australia is actually really really bad. So uh, I I I I can't hear you anymore. I'll I'll just talk to you later, man. See you later. Oh. Bye. Okay. Bye. You want to know what I miss about life before quarantine? I miss sports. I just miss going to a bar and just watching a game. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I, for me personally, I don't miss sports, but I just miss the normal things of just hanging out with friends. Do you know what I miss the most? Eating anything outside my home. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, just going to a restaurant and like holding a menu. Oh, I definitely miss restaurants, man. I miss excusing myself to go to the bathroom and then crawling up in the ceiling and just living in the air duct for three days. Mm. Oh, mm. The best. So snug. You know, what I really miss is just seeing new things. Yeah, man. Going new places. Traveling. Packing a suitcase, strapping a weapon to your leg, and just going through TSA checkpoint just to get that thrill when they don't find it. I miss going outside and just seeing a dog and then thinking, if I was a dog, would I find that dog sexy? And would that dog find me sexy. Do y'all remember going to the park on Saturdays with your friend and you bring a big five pound ham to the <laughs> park and you're having a good old fashioned ham toss where the only rule is first one who drops the ham eats the, the ham. ham. <laughs> <laughs> it, man, it's all proud. I really miss getting thrown out of Old Navy. I miss going to the zoo and telling the seals that I'm disappointed in them. Handing rocks to people on the subway and just whispering, one day, you will know what this means. I miss going down to the beach and just breathing in that fresh, salty air and strapping a cinder block to myself and then just walking straight into the ocean. Dressing up like Elmo in Times Square and whispering into kids' ears that God isn't real. Or going to the zoo and telling the seals that I'm disappointed in them. <laughs> I, I said that already. I miss going to the DMV in a diaper and dressing up like a big baby and going, big baby needs a driver's yes. license. Uh, you know what I miss? I miss gradually displacing the household staff of a wealthy Korean family and killing the dad and living in the basement. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Totally. I miss going to the movies.
Ronnie, what the f What the hell's wrong with you, Ronnie? You're some kind of freak, man. I what? um I think I gotta I gotta wa um water yeah. myself or something. Yeah. I don't yeah. I gotta go. Oh, I'm I'm out. Out. No. Uh, guys, no 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 don't go no I was just joking. Weird. No no guys I don't go, don't go. I can be weirder. I don't I don't just go to the movies. I I also take a dump in the popcorn and I eat it. Guys. Guys?